Hey, 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 hey. Everybody, everybody. You tuned in. You tuned in. Happy Friday. They told me to go ahead and do it, so I'm going to do it. And this is the reintroduction to Philosophy Fridays. I'm your boy, Arkansas Bo, a.k.a. your mama's boyfriend. Let's get into this, shall we? Today's topic for today is called Leave Me Alone, all right? It's called Leave Me Alone, man. <laughs> it's really about the old versus the new. It's not on no rap stuff or nothing like that, but... What it's about is how the old man thinks, okay, and how the young man thinks. I'm going to give y'all a scenario or whatever. Where does confrontation between the old and the new normally happen? Some people would say at a club. Old people really don't attend clubs. They go to house parties, play dominoes, spades cook out, you know, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? What's up? What's up, Dr. Davis? <laughs> I see you, baby. How you doing? Yeah, yeah. Royce, what up? How you doing? I see y'all. I see y'all tuning in. I got two people. I'm good. That's all I needed, you know. But at the end of the day, where does it take place? Old people, like, they don't, go, they don't really go to the club. I'm going to tell y'all where it takes place. It don't take place at the church either because that's a time of peace, supposedly. But where it takes place is at the job or at the grocery store. <laughs> You're going to fight at the job or the grocery store. Now, I'm going to tell y'all like this, man. The old man thinks every old, oh, I'm, I'm at the 212 mark, so now I can cuss. Fuck it, here we go. <laughs> there we go, man. So it's like he might think like this when he wake up in the morning. When he goes to work, all he wants to do, he wants some young ass girl to flirt with him, a young pretty woman to flirt with him, or either an old pretty woman to flirt with him. So when he leave work, he can go home and fuck his fat, ugly wife. You know what I'm saying? He can go home and fat, fuck his fat, ugly wife right. You know what I'm saying? And for two, uh, he might if he ain't got no wife, he might want to jack off. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I'm uh, that's all he really wants. And nine out of ten, his dick probably ain't even working right. You know what I'm saying? But that's what an old man thinks when he goes to work. Now what a young nigga think when he goes to work, he don't think about nothing. This nigga be happy go lucky every day. He jump around, he crunk at work in the morning. Old men don't like the morning time. They don't. I'm telling you from experience. Listen to me now. <laughs> Listen to me. This is how I normally go. You know what I'm saying? So the young nigga, he might come in there playing. The old man, he just want to get the job done and go into the house. That's all he want to do. He want to get the job done, go into the house. He, he probably won't want them little ladies to flirt with him and shit so he can go home and fuck his old lady right. But what the young nigga do? He frolicking around and the old man he might say some stuff like, hey, 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 young fella, they put you over here to work now. You got to help me out. You know what I'm saying? And a young fella might be like, man, fuck you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you, old nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know how them young niggas treat us. They treat us like that. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you, old nigga. And if an old nigga show up at work looking like this, if that motherfucker look like this, I'm going to tell you now. If that motherfucker look like this, and his eye, and his, he looking like this, and his mouth like this, that motherfucker mouth look like that, and he look over his glasses at you and shit, that nigga will kill you. He'll kill you. <laughs> that nigga will kill you. Especially if y'all working around like metal. If y'all working around like metal with high power tools and shit, leave that nigga alone. Leave him alone. That's the name of the <laughs> This whole segment is called Leave Him Alone. The L E E E B M Alone. Leave him alone, man. Leave them old niggas alone. And I'm telling you, man, like they already frustrated. The only thing he thinking about how he used to look. 
You know what I'm saying? The hairline probably pushing back. Nigga probably got a little gut on him now. The young nigga, he he happy go lucky. He looking good. He handsome. The girl that the old man want to flirt with him, the uh, the young nigga already in her ear and done got to her. He ain't gonna say nothing now. The old man ain't gonna say shit about it. He chilling. You know what I'm saying? So here's the thing. He done already. He done said something to this young man about not helping him. Now the young man want to crack jokes and shit. He probably got on skinny jeans or some shit, and the old man got on dickies and probably some uhs. <laughs> He probably got on some goddamn some some steel toe boots that he bought from Walmart. The first thing that young nigga gonna say is, "What are those?" And have everybody laughing and shit. You know what I'm saying? Parachute pants wearing ass nigga. Oh, uh, pillowcase pants wearing ass nigga. Oh, uh, uh, bed sheet pants wearing that. You know what I'm saying? And the old man that look like this, that look like that with that mouth like this, he might smile. He he might smile and be like. Oh, yo, if he smile, he crying on the inside <laughs> because everybody laughing at him. Y'all, you made everybody laugh at this motherfucker. So now he crying on the inside, but he's smiling just to hide that shit. Oh, young buck, you got it, man. Just, man, just let me live. You know what I'm saying? Just let, let me live, young buck. You got it, baby. So now he done established that. Now the man, the young nigga done crack jokes on this man for about three days straight. About three days straight. Now, this nigga, the, the, I told you, if he look like this and his mouth down like that and you look over his glasses like that, that nigga will kill you. He will kill you. He got a whole bunch of shit running through his mind now. I'm telling you. And he might, <laughs> he might let out a, he, and they cuss, you know what I'm saying? He, he might get fed up and he, and when he cuss, you know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't like, he won't, he won't say motherfucker. You know, it ain't a motherfucker. He ain't going to say it like that. He going he, he gonna to say, all right. he be like, all right now, motherfucker. He motherfucker. You know, he motherfucker. You know, <laughs> I'm tired of this shit. You know? <laughs> he going to say it like that. All right, motherfucker. I'm tired of this goddamn shit. You know what I'm saying? Or he might let out that, that loud shrill. You know what I'm saying? When you crack a thousand jokes on him, everybody laughing, and he might let out that. <laughs> I'm tired of you, mother, motherfucker. He might let that shit out. And after that, you got to watch your back at work because you know what I'm saying? He he ain't going to chase after you. But if if, a, if an old man do you like that, just run. Don't 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 sleep on him because, you know what I'm saying, some of them young niggas can tie them things together. They can tie them things together. And some old men can tie them things together, too, now. They can tie them. The old men, some of them niggas can still do what they did when they were 25 and 21 and shit like that. But leave that motherfucker alone because he's going to kill you, especially if you work around high-powered tools, uh, metal, you know what I'm saying, sharp objects and shit like that. That nigga is going to kill you. <laughs> leave him alone. <laughs> Go to work. Work. Flirt with the girl, fuck him, leave that old man the fuck alone. I'm telling y'all from experience. God damn it. I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you from experience. You know what I'm saying?